there is something I really want to understand. What is this clamor on social media from Nigerians in Nigeria about JAN, Joint Admission and Matriculation Board exams? What is this clamor on social media? Legit Nigeria, legit NG, with Insta blog are not even making matters okay because um, they keep posting all these results from students. Is it a generational thing or is it a technological thing? The reason I'm asking this question is because I remember in my time when we wrote Jam, I understand there was no internet, but then nobody took a placard and wrote all the scores they had in each of the four subjects on the street for everyone to see. Nobody did that. Is it because we were not as intelligent as this generation? I'm sorry to, to ask this question because it's getting out of hand. Really, guys, it's getting out of hand. In my time, the reason we had low scores in examinations in Wayek, in Neko, in Jam, was because when we were learning, when we were studying, we learned, we studied to know. But a lot of you today, a lot of students these days are studying to pass their examination. When you study to know something and study to pass something, of course it's different. Because at the end of the day, when you pass what you study for, you don't know any other thing. So we started to know, we wanted to know everything. This was why we forgot some answers for most questions in other subjects because we were studying generally. But these days, you guys are studying to pass. In fact, you're even making it as a form of competition amongst yourselves. I started writing Jam in 1999. I remember I wrote Jam four good times. I said then, if you manage to have 280 points in Jam, hallelujah. And I wanted to study mechanical engineering in a Nigerian university. This was why I wrote jam four times because the first jam I wrote, guys, I was very intelligent, I was very smart, but jam those days was something else. Those who wrote jam in the 90s, in the 2000s, you would understand that jam was different. This, uh, these days, I understand you guys are writing it electronically. Those days, we used to tick uh, multiple choice questions. We used to tick on papers so that if you make any mistake in what you tick, I don't know if that's how it still happens these days, but it was different so that after you write your exam, you will be praying to God. In fact, after writing that exam, you would know if you passed or if you failed. But then, since there was no internet, nobody took placard and went on the street, wrote their scores in the subjects they wrote and said, I have 280 points. I scored 300 and something points. Nobody did that. So this is why I'm asking, guys, is this a generational thing? Because yes, even 2000, yes, we still had no internet in Nigeria, but 2001, when internet came, we still didn't do that. We never posted our jam results on Facebook that came to Nigeria in 2007. We never did that. But why are students these days posting their jam results online? I don't understand. Listen, guys. Nobody's telling you not to study hard. Nobody's telling you not to read your book, not to be knowledgeable. But at the end of the day, how is it that you have highest scores in an examination in JAM? And then when it comes to humanity, you have lowest scores. How is that? How, how does that work out? How does that work out for humanity? That you are intelligent, you're knowledgeable in a particular field, but when it comes to humanity, you are zero. That doesn't make sense. By the way, all of you that are having high scores, 320, 389, at the end of the day, what are you going to be doing with those scores if the Nigerian universities are on strike? What are you going to be doing with those cut of points if you cannot even finish a four-year course on time? What is the essence? So most of you who have low scores, guys, do not be intimidated. After all, tell me, what scores did Don Jazzy have in Jam? How many cutoff points did Two-Face have? How many did we skip, Davido, and the rest, celebrities who are, who are, who are influential, who have money, who, who know what they do? How many points did they have in Jam? 
So guys, do not let jam be what will determine your success in life, okay? Uh, nobody's telling you not to be happy about your scores, about your results, but at the end of the day, when you post it online and everybody's cheering you, yeah, 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 at the end of the day, what next? What next? Because yes, glory be to God. You think you're knowledgeable, you think you're smart, you think you're the smartest if you have the highest. But at the end of the day, what are you going to be doing with that course if the Nigerian universities are not working as they should work? What's the point? So to those of you who have low points, low scores, do not let anybody intimidate you with their high scores. You are equally intelligent. You are also knowledgeable. Okay. It is left for you to know what you want to do with your life. Because at the end of the day, jam is not a yardstick to success in life. So boy the crackhead, wish you all a wonderful day. Bye for now.